Hi guys, my name is Sean Murphy and I'm a herpetologist here in the state of Michigan. Um, I'm at the wonderful Proust Pets today and I'm here to talk to you about some different types of frogs. Uh, behind me is a wonderful array of different types of frogs from around the world. The one specifically I'm going to talk to you today about is actually the green tree frog. Uh, I'll give you an up close look here in a minute, but first we're going to go over a little bit of information. Uh, gray tree frogs are native to the east coast and southern part of the United States. Uh, they're actually very similar to gray tree frogs that we have here in the state of Michigan. Both are very good at a few different types of camouflage because of the environments that they live in. Typically, we're going to be finding frogs in forest type environments near standing bodies of water. Because of that, there's lots of green vegetation, but there's also different types of blacks, browns, and grays in the environment due to the trees. Now, with the gray tree frogs that are here in the state of Michigan, mainly they're gray, brown, and black. Sometimes they'll be a little bit green. That helps them to blend in with all the different trees and leaf litter that are around them. But the green tree frogs, because they live in a more humid and almost jungle-like environment because of being on the east coast and south, are almost always various shades of green and sometimes yellow. Now, frogs are pretty amazing creatures because of the way that their skin acts. Basically, their skin is like a sponge. They can breathe both air and water through their skin. We call that semi-permeable. They're basically a walking sponge, and if something is in their environment that's harmful, they'll be the first ones to tell us that something's wrong. So because of this, we call them an indicator species. Now, because of this, if you ever see frogs, or even toads, salamanders, or newts, it's best not to handle them if you see them. If you do decide that you need to handle them for whatever reason, you want to get your hands wet with some natural water. Stay away from things like city water, because it can add chloride and chloramine that can actually harm the frogs. Now, I'm going to give you an up-close look here at some of the green tree frogs, so you have a better idea what they look at. So, you give me a second, I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip this camera around for you to see. Now right up close here is a little guy. He's probably about a year or two old. And my hands are already wet, so I'm going to try getting a hold of him. And as you can see, he's dark green right now, which they can change the shades of green that they are based on temperature and also based on essentially their mood. If they feel more in danger, they can start to change their skin tone a little bit to match their surroundings. Also, if they are a bit cold, they can turn darker temperatures to absorb more heat. He's also got that brilliant white line that goes down his face. That helps them distinguish him away from green tree, or sorry, gray tree frogs. Uh, this line is also part of his camouflage kind of making him look like the edges of leaves or branches. And you can see they're kind of curious. He's looking around looking for something he's going to jump on and most likely he's going to try jumping on me. And he's got those big wide eyes. Those help him to see various movements. These guys mainly eat insects. Sometimes they'll eat things like small earthworms. So for the most part they're looking for things like flies, um, mosquitoes, cockroaches, crickets, things like that. Now, sometimes their stomach is a bit bigger than what their eyes can handle. So we try to maintain a certain feeding regimen with them, and that is looking at the distance between their eyes is about how big their food should be. Like I said, sometimes they will try to eat things that are much larger, and they can have a little bit of difficulty with it, but they'll try anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy back. Um, like I mentioned, frogs are very, very unique animals. They're an indicator species. And just like the gray tree frogs that we have here in the state of Michigan, uh, these little green tree frogs are very, very cute. So hope that helps you guys out and have a great day.